so you can check back in if you need it. I'm out of here. I'll catch you all later. See ya. Peace. Later, Max. Max doesn't want to learn. <laughs> Who's Stripes? A friend of mine. Top learner. Oh. Okay. Slash jungler. Is, is he on ambition? Is he uh, a competitor of ours, by chance? No. No. Hmm. Fair enough. All right, sweet. Um, so I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go cam for this, and uh, I, you know, I don't expect you guys to, but uh, I would encourage you to because it's really important that uh, we're not all just talking heads to each other, like, you know, like little green bubbles on Discord. Um, basically, to humanize each other. You know what I mean? I do that in trials and stuff like that too, because people get nervous and stuff, but. You know, I want you guys to sort of feel, you know, that you're not just talking voices. So, up to you, but. Mm -hmm. Wait, does this mean there's a chance we could see the ugly? Let me pull up. The what? The ugly G. The what? Oh my goodness, I surrender. The ugly Jesus? Who is that? Oh, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't shaved yet, so I'm not gonna do it. That's okay. I don't expect I don't expect any of you guys to, but I just want to humanize myself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Make sure you guys are all with it. I'm just a um, gamer. So let's bust out the paint. Let me know when you guys are all in here. Oh, I'm in here. Anybody not? I'm in. All right. Beautiful. So, yet again, we have another problem, uh, lady and gentlemen. Um, how do we get better at league? It's uh, it's a tough question, and if you pro if you Google or like YouTube search this question, you'll probably get ten thousand different answers. But I think over the years, uh, I've sort of distilled it into a bit of a formula. And that's what we're going to talk about today, is how do I go about attacking this problem of getting better? How do I make it as efficient as possible? And uh, why, why is this question important? This question is important because everybody is improving at the game always, right? You'll notice that uh, gold players right now would beat diamond players five years ago. Um, do you guys know what I mean by that? Yes. Yeah. Like the progression of the game, and like everybody's learning, and like new things get added. Like gold players are freezing waves now, like that that type of shit. Um. So the goal uh, with with improving is how do I improve faster than everybody else? And uh, that's a really important question to talk about. Um. So within anything that you do, there's going to be a certain number of levels. Um, whether it's like basketball, league, math, whatever. Um, let's take math, for example. So when you guys start out in math, you start with pre-algebra, then algebra, then geometry, then pre-calc, calc, trig, stat, whatever, right? Um, and there's a reason for that. It's because a, a, a lot of the things that you learn in those lower-level maths will make it easier to learn things in upper-level maths. Are, are any of you guys math guys? There you go. Rhino is all about this, right? Like it, stuff gets borrowed and, and it gets built on top of, so to speak. So let's let's treat league like uh, like those maths. Um, inside of league, I've found that there is four or five different games, sort of, that you're playing while you're playing league. And uh, ground zero is going to be settings. Uh, settings uh, slash uh, Jesus. Outside of the the game, so this is everything that happens before you load into into your game. This is how much sleep you got. This is what your diet is like. This is do you have colorblind mode on? Do you have attack champion only down to X? Like it's it's all of these different variables that that are going to be 
impactful to your game before you load in. And a lot of that is pretty self-explanatory. And uh, there's a reason that you go after this first. Uh, the reason you go after it first is because it, it's sort of like the bedrock of like how you're going to interact with the game at all times. And it's really, really, really important you guys get this right. So, so things like making sure you get eight hours of sleep, making sure that your diet is okay, making sure that you're exercising daily, uh, whether that's like a 30-minute walk or whatever. Um, strong body is strong mind. Um, that type of thing. It's, 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 it's really important. And, and, and that's where a lot of league players will fail, I find, is, is in settings and outside of the game. Uh, May I throw some things in that a lot of people uh, tend to forget about? Sure. Um, so what that also includes is your surroundings in general, right? Like, do you have like a tidy room around you? Do you still have tasks to do, right? Doing your laundry, doing the dishes, whatever. Um, that even while you're not like consciously thinking about it while you're loading into a game, it will affect you, right? That there's potential of distraction, uh, in, in comparison to like fully focusing on improvement and the game. And having stability in your surroundings is a big, big thing that a lot of people are not aware of. Yeah, it's just everything in your life outside of the game. You know, you right. might have gotten fired from your job. You might have gotten dumped by your girlfriend, whatever it might be. Um, everything outside of the game will impact how you play in the game. And a lot of people forget that. Um, and settings go along with that, too. Um, so the first game, um, any basketball fans? You guys play basketball? This is interactive, by the way. I want you guys to talk to me. I play a little bit of basketball. Yeah? In basketball, what's the first thing that you learn how to do? Dribble. Dribble! Why do you need to learn how to dribble without looking at the ball? So that you can, like, move play, with the ball? Yeah. And, like, yeah, play you the game properly? yeah, you play the game at all, right? If you can't do that, you're fucked, right? Yeah. So, if we're taking that to league, what's dribbling in league? Like, clicking and, like, camera yeah. control? It's your champion. The ball is the ball is your champion. Um, so the first game that you're playing when you're playing league, this is like this is like game zero essentially. The first game that you, like you're physically doing is going to be your champion in your mechanics, right? It should be as such that you shouldn't have to look at the ball while you're playing league, if that makes sense to you guys. The champion should be an extension of your mind as opposed to something that you're actively playing. That's that's the goal, at least, right? So that you can focus on other things. Mm -hmm. um, the the second game is going to be the fundamentals. So the fundamentals of the game are things that apply to every single champion, right? There are there are players that have champions figured out like ninety nine point nine percent efficiency, right? Uh, but fundamentals, on the other hand, the community at whole, at large, and you'll get different answers for the different people you ask. If you were to ask me, I think the general pro play community is is some is sitting somewhere around sixty to seventy percent on, on uh, efficiency with fundamentals. It's not great, and uh, that's th this is this is where we're going to find a lot of our strengths, right? Um, so let's let's go through and list the different fundamentals. So we have oh tab doesn't work in this motherfucker. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, my keyboard's not working. Oh, hold. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Um, so, fighting. Uh, fighting is everything from damage foresight to uh, sh hitting your skill shots, dodging skill shots, positioning, that, that, that type of thing. Well, not so much positioning, but uh, all, all of that. Uh, and it's sister fundamental. Uh, space. So that'll be positioning. Essentially, you can define space and think about it as every single geographic spot on the map. And I don't mean like big areas. I mean every pixel on the map has its own space, right? And being conscious of that space and sort of understanding how it interacts with you and, and your teammates and the enemy team is is really, really important. So distance and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, Third will be uh, mouse and camera movement or dexterity. Like the so so essentially what that refers to is the accuracy and speed of your camera and mouse. That's like the most succinct way to to put it. And I think it's relatively self-explanatory. Um, 
The fourth one will be, and I used to, I used to refer to it as vision, but really what I think it boils down to, if you go deep, is information. So information is whatever is available to you, available to any, the enemy team, and publicly available, meaning to both teams. Um, discerning from certain information, uh, other pieces of information is something that you guys have to do all the time. So glue, if, if you see enemy jungle pop out and gank your bot lane and he has 12 CS, what does that tell you? Uh, he didn't clear his top side. Right, there you go. He cleared his bot side, right? So that's 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 like a, a small prime example of using deductive reasoning to gain information from other information that, that you might have, right? Um, or like, uh, it, it's deductive more because it's, you're taking a lack of information, which is him missing 12 CS and deducing that he must not have gone topside uh, in relevance to the, the current game timer. Um, so collection of information, this is, this is where all your wards are. This is um, how you're spending time putting down wards and that sort of thing. Uh, very, very, very important. Uh, also, this, uh, this is where communication comes in as well, because all communication is really is to equalize the level of information on your team. That's all it is. If you had five perfect players, they would never talk to each other. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Next will be uh, items and runes. So this is everything that you can do once you're in champion select or in the game that is going to affect how the game plays out and i don't think that people understand this fundamental very well because one it's a lot to think about there's a lot of items in the game and making sure that you're choosing the right one is is generally not the easiest thing to do um most of the time you're going to have a sort of cookie cutter build paths um but that that one percent of the time that you need to go a different item that you would go maybe one out of a hundred times um, is really important not to miss. Um, so every good examples for this are like the general situational items, like um, like more and death stance, for example, right? Um, that vary depending on what like key stat is like more important in that specific game. Right, and this this also comes down to, uh, or this also involves things like power curve and understanding how your champion and your team needs to curve into the game. Like glue when we're playing TFT, if we're taking heavy losses early, we'll slam worse items just so that we can save HP. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's the same sort same sort of idea. Um, let's see. Uh, next is economy. So economy has two different branches. Uh, one is gold, and one is time. And I think it is the probably the most important fundamental in the entire game. Because if I were to explain League of Legends to a five-year-old, the, the way that I would explain it is that it is a resource gathering game, essentially. Because if you stick five bronze players against five challenger players, but you give the, the five bronze players full items, they're going to win every single time, right? It, gold is the most important part of the entire game, golden time, right? And a lot of what people refer to as the economy of time is tempo uh that that's that's a large like uh, piece of economy of time that's not all of it but it's 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 a large piece of it um so taking turns on the map and, and stuff like that and making sure that uh you're spending your time efficiently and especially as a jungler you, you'll you'll know that uh and the last one is kind of i hesitate to call it a fundamental but the more that i uh the longer that I've gone through the, my career, it's it's become more apparent to me that it ought to be. And that uh, that is draft. Um, as we talked about before, as uh, as as a team last last class period, when we talked about draft. It you'll notice that besides just the shorthand, it's able to get you guys onto a, a certain level of understand mutual understanding with each other of what does our team want to do, what does the enemy team want to do, how do those two teams interact. And that's what's most important. Now, draft in itself is a completely separate game. And that's not necessarily what I'm talking about here. 
What I'm talking about here is how it affects you inside of the game once it's there. And that comes down to champion proficiency, pick order, and, and all that stuff is, is in that game. Um, so these are, these are sort of the, uh, the main seven or eight fundamentals that, uh, that you want to be working on. Um, so the next thing that we'll uh, talk about is um, psychology. Stu, you around? Yep. All right. When you throw thresh hook at enemy ADC, and what, what what do you take away from the first thresh hook that you throw? I try to see which way he's going to dodge so I can land the next one. Interesting. Okay. Why do you think that that piece of information is valuable if it's really a coin flip every single time? Because if you gain knowledge of the way that they're going to dodge, you basically create a, an unfair situation for yourself. So you can make it so that way it's not a coin flip. Right. It's not a coin flip. You're right. It's not a coin flip. Players are habitual um, to a massive fault. And a lot of the times they won't take this game into consideration. Um, almost never. Uh, once you get to the very, 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 very high level, some of them start to take it into consideration. Um, so let me pose another question to you. Let's say you're playing against enemy Jinx in your Thresh, and you throw Hook, and she dodges down, right? If she has this same understanding of how the game works and, and that psychology is a part of the game, when you throw that next Hook, which way are you going to throw it after she went down the first time? I would throw it up. Why? Because if she's also aware that we're on the same page, then she would expect me to throw it down, and I would throw it up she would go up so she would expect me to throw it down right but if she understands that you understand that right if she assumes that you understand that wouldn't she expect you to throw it up then yeah if both players are on the same understanding then it just returns back to a coin flip right you right can work against that in a way um just to give like a little bit more detail um what you can do especially on fresh right is you increase the sample size of like the hooks right and the dodge patterns because as since that players like are heavily like habitual right um and if you increase the sample size right you can just throw a hook at a minion to reduce the cooldown and guarantee that it hits something right and increase the sample size and then like actually see what side do they lean towards more right and the more the higher your sample sizes the easier it will be yeah so, oh, where was I? Um, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. Okay, right. So if if we know that she knows what we know, it sort of returns to a coin flip in its original sta state, right? Yeah. Because w because the the all the information is publicly available at that point. So let me pose one more question to you. And let's 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 actually all do this as a game. All right. In in general chat, uh what I want you to do, don't press enter, but I want you to type out a number between 1 and 100. Um but I want your number to be the 2 thirds of the number of the highest guess. Does that make sense to everybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Glue? Mhm. Mm yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. All right, cool. Um, make sure that you all have your numbers ready. Two thirds of the highest guess that you think that somebody will guess. Number between one and a hundred. And let me know when you guys are all ready. We're ready. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Ready. Anyone else? Glue. You guys can all. You guys can yeah, all participate I'm in this. I'm ready. Hey, uh, I got my right. number. When I say three, I want you to press enter. Ready? One, two, three. Interesting. All right. Oops. So who got closest here? I think it was probably Soldier, right? I was getting 66. At the last second, I changed it too. I was like, wait a okay. second. <laughs> so since I explained all of that to you guys, all of you got it wrong, by the way. <laughs> uh, but since I explained that to you guys, all of that information was completely publicly available. You guys all knew that each of you knew that information, right? Mm -hmm. 
Glue, you got closest to the right answer. Why did you guess six? Yeah, it's 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 one more step, right? So it's like the you assume that the highest guess is going to be something, and then you cut it a third, but then somebody's going to guess that, so you go a third under that one. Right, right. So what's yeah. the real right guess? Does anybody know? Uh, it's 11, right? Nope. A third of, or two-thirds of 33? 22? It's zero. If you follow this pattern all the way down, it'll reach point zero 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 three or whatever. If you follow it all the way down, if you keep going and keep going and keep going, keep going with that pattern in your head, it'll ultimately reach zero or some infinitely low number. This is uh, in game theory. Uh, it's known as Nash's equilibrium. Uh, something that I implore you guys to read on. Um, but how does this apply to league? This applies to league and the fundamental of psychology. And it's, the question basically becomes, how far are we going down? How many steps are we going down? And essentially, when it comes to skill shots and a lot of the things in the game, it ends up being coin flip. But, but there's a caveat. Like Freeze mentioned, and I mentioned, players are habitual. So the worse the player is, the less steps they'll go down, if they go steps down at all. Right? And a lot of the times, the people that you're going to be playing against aren't. So it's not much worth worrying about to that level. Um, but this, it's something to be keenly aware of uh, because people, uh, you can start to abuse this in your own games. Um, psychology can also refer to how a player is feeling. Essentially, it's, it's everything that's going through the mind of the, you and, uh, and your opponents. And this sort of mental battle of is he going to juke up or is he going to juke down is uh, it, it's very, 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 very tricky because eventually it does reach equilibrium like we were talking about uh, if, if all the information is publicly available. But the cool thing is I don't know any other teams that talk about this. And I think you guys will probably be the only ones in the tournament. Um, not to sound conceited or anything, but people, people don't think about this. Uh, unfortunately. Um, so use it to your advantage. I think it's something that you shouldn't be totally focused on right now, but, uh, but it's something to keep in the back of your mind uh, while you're playing these games. So why did we set it up? Let, let's, let's go back to the beginning. Why did we set this up in the way that we did? It's, it's math. It's maths, essentially. So it's building on top of what we are learning before, right? If you're playing a champion and Oh, let's see. Uh, uh, Sora, give me a champion that you never play. Sona. Okay, if you're playing Sona mid, how good do you think your macro is going to be that game? Shit. Why? I don't play that champ. I don't know, like, the, the ins and outs of where I should be and what I should be doing. Right, right, right. So there's a concept that I've, that I've sort of referred to as cognitive real estate. And it's pretty self-explanatory, but essentially what it means is the amount of brain power or space that you have in your mind to think about things. Because you can only think about so many things inside the game uh, at once or, or throughout the length of the game. So if you're playing a champion that you don't know shit about, all of your cognitive real estate is going to be right here. All of it. Um, this is why coaches will tell people to play simple champions. If they, they might not know why they tell people, but this is why they tell people, people to play simple champions. Because the quicker that you can get away from this and get on to working at this, this is where your improvement is. Because at our level, a lot of the champion mastery is pretty damn high. And the margins are thinner than the margins are here in difference of players. This is where you're going to differentiate, differentiate yourselves from enemy teams and enemy players is your understanding of the fundamentals of the game. This is, this is, this is the juice. So when we go into these games, that's why it's so important that we play stuff that's comfort because we get to, especially in scrims, we get to focus on this piece and we get to actually improve. This is where the meat and potatoes is of the game. This is where you actually see your improvement. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, sir. All right. So essentially, it's basically just a long-winded way of saying the first thing you need to do is make sure this is right. 
Because if this isn't right, this is going to be impossible. Right? Once this is right, then we fix our chance. How did that line come out so straight? Sorry, ADHD. Um, then we work on our champion. Once our champion is done, then we get to work on fundamentals. And this is where we're going to be spending most of our time. You can dabble in all of these at once, but really you should be following the sort of progression that you're taking. And, when, and once you get down and you're pretty comfortable with fundamentals, you can start playing with this. And w with our time together, you guys will not reach 100% at this. Uh, you probably won't even reach 70% at it. Uh, that's because that's where the top pros are, right? Um, so really, this is this is what we're always going to be, or sorry, this is what we're always going to be focused on, essentially. But it's important to understand that this exists, and it's something that you can manipulate and and sort of eke out small advantages over. Sort of understand your own psychology and the enemy psychology, and and try to gain an edge that way, because that's a big part of the game. It's it's the third game of of league. Um. All right. What was I going to say? So. Fundamentals, meat and potatoes. How do we go about learning this? Um, you guys have probably heard it before. One step at a time, right? So if I'm a player and I'm looking at the, or if I'm a coach and I'm coaching a player uh, and I'm looking at, at this piece right here, um, when I'm coaching a player, the stuff that I'm thinking about is what fundamental, or first of all, where are they here, right? In this sort of progression list. And then which fundamental are they struggling with the most? Right, because if you uplift one of those fundamentals to a certain level, you will instantly start climbing. And what I want you guys to do is, I want you guys, and we'll go over this this weekend. I'll, I'll try to schedule one-on-one -on -one time with everybody. Um, what we're going to do is, we're going to find out what do you guys suck at, because all you're trying to do is raise your average and taking your outlier of the worst thing that you do in the game, which is out of these seven or eight. And increasing that will drastically improve you as a player because you're only as good as your weakest link, right? Um, so what do you guys think? Out, out, of the, out of these fundamentals, like what, what do you guys think is the weakest fundamental that you have personally? And maybe the strongest too. Glue, start us off and we'll go down. Um, out of that list, mm -hmm. I think my worst is mouse and camera dexterity. Okay. I and think, what's your best? Um, probably, probably fighting or space. Fighting or space. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, Sora. Um, uh, my worst probably economy. Uh, mm. I'd say my best is probably fighting. Fighting. Okay, interesting. I would I would almost think that your your best is draft, but that's interesting. Is it? Uh well, just the way that you uh you talk about the game and the styles of fighting inside the game, and especially after we had that conversation was really impressive. So that was uh, that's that's something that but yeah, I, I could I could see it. I could see it. Uh Sam? Yeah, I think my worst is probably mouse and camera dexterity. It's something I'm like also like really focusing on right now. And then my best mm -hmm. is probably fighting. I think my space is also kind of weak. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Stu? I think my worst is economy, and my best would be information. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about this all together. A couple of you guys mentioned uh, mouse and cam dexterity, and there are ways that you can train that. Um, there are ways that you can train all of these, but the mouse and cam camera dexterity one is really simple. Um, one way is going and doing uh, marked clicks, and for those that uh, in, inside practice tool, and for those that need to work on that, and and I'll, I'll probably go over that with all of you guys individually. Um, we'll we'll take a look at exactly what that means, and uh, there are other things that you can do too. Could, does anybody have any guesses of what else you can do to improve mouse and camera decks? Any drills or anything like that? Um, I mean, aim labs. I... That's kind of. Oh, sorry. Go go. What's up? Like aim labs or like the CSGO kind of stuff that those players do. Yeah. That's a good one. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. That that's part of the reason that I asked you guys if you play any other games before you uh before you came on. Um aim trainers, right? Uh, there's one aim trainer that a lot of people use. Um that 
I guess a lot of people don't really think about as aim an aim trainer, um, but it really is. And do you know what that game is? It's a standalone game. It's Osu. Hmm. Oh. Osu. Not using a pen, using your mouse. Um, Osu is probably the best aim trainer because not only are you having to move your mouse quickly, you're having to click accurately too. Um, in certain patterns and rhythms and, and all of that stuff. And, and it's it's a little bit more efficient at the higher, higher levels than aim trainers, but aim trainers are important too. Um, but that's, that's just one example of how to improve at uh, any of these seven fundamentals. Um, do you guys have any questions about any of this so far? Yeah, could I add one question to the like camera dexterity thing? Yeah, yeah. Like, camera positioning? Yes. I guess that's like the biggest thing for me. Yes, yes, that's part of it. The okay. speed and accuracy of both your mouse and camera. So accuracy for camera is a part of it. Okay. Yeah. And if you're so, unsure if that's a weakness of yours, you can also like just like look at your own POV recordings via Outplayed or whatever, right? And see how far your cursor is actually away from your champion while clicking. Like yeah, a lot of yeah. people are unaware of like their quote unquote lazy clicking when they have their cursor like right further away from their champion. Yeah, because you went pretty close, right? So you can yeah. have more control. Okay. Yeah. As close as you can. It's a lot faster. Um Right. So essentially, essentially, this is it. This is how we improve at League. We attack it uh, in a chronological order so that we can more efficiently go about learning the, the subsequent games that we're playing. Um, everybody understand this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I'll send you guys a, a video that I made on this. It's a little bit outdated, and I explain things a little bit differently, but essentially it gets across all the same information. Um, and it goes a little bit deeper into each fundamental too. Um, so that'll be good. Um, I think that's all I have for this, Rai. You want to you wanna start us off with the uh, fighting? I'm, I'm good. good. I'm chilling. Well, you still take a two-minute break anyway because you need to process that information. Yeah, it's a lot. All right, y'all. Thanks for listening. That was a really good presentation. Welcome back. Yeah. Freeze is here too. Uh, oh my god. I oh, can see glue. Oh, it's me. <laughs> it's him. Oh my goodness. Can He's we get a chair shot? What? Can we get a shot of the chair? Oh yeah, yeah, here, here. Let me give you let me give you the tour what we're working with here. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Look at the thickness yeah. of the cushion. Oh. Oh, it's right. perfect. Oh <laughs> my god. Shit.
Yeah, I'm back. Oh, oh, good. I'm good. I'm, I'm very pleased right now. <laughs> a, little, a little creepy, but all right. <laughs> is this glue POV? It is. Pog. Pog. I like the fit. Um. Yeah. Thanks. It's a uh, green long with a uh, gray construction. Nice. So, nice. It's pretty. It's pretty sweet. Looks good. Hey. Thanks. Problem is, like, my nipples look all saggy. Thank so, you for pointing that out. I would not have noticed, but thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I think they look great, <laughs> honestly. It's, it's a rough section of the shirt. Uh, they look great, honestly. They're very grabbable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Want to be approachable, you know? <laughs> Man, now I would also turn on my cam, but it always fucks up my mic. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not. I'm clearly not as pretty as with his frat boy cut. <laughs> Unlucky. Hey, we can't all look that good, eh? Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm in. There are a lot of S's. <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> oh, God. Go. See, I got the double S. Oh, God. Oh, I Mm -hmm. Yep. Sounds good. Yep. Yep.
Lee walked through the fed line eventually in a bit to sneak around. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 I think the yeah. same word is orange, right? I'm this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Wait, 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 quick question wait, before which? we start. Um, are we red team and we're like deep boarding here? Or are we blue team falling behind and we're looking for defensive wards? Yeah, I was just crucial asking. Yeah. Either. We have to decide on one. Okay. So we're just going for like total vision? Like what shows the most space? <laughs> yep. 
Hey, who took last? <laughs> Wait, which bush? I don't see anything. No. I can't see it. No. Oh, oh guys. Oh, I see it. Oh, it's it's like a green laser on a green map. <laughs> it's green. <laughs> you see it. It's okay. We know the bush. Yeah, 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 we know the we're on it. We're locked in. Yeah. It? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, but can I steal someone's ward? I missed. <laughs> Don't touch my ass. <laughs> I'm stealing <laughs> ward. I'm going for it. <laughs> Double the vision. Well, I'm there. I'm I'm there. I'm actually he's there. He's there. there. <laughs> can he see the NACL general chat to get the break? I don't think he can. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get him in here. Look, look at that O guy off to the left. Just vibing. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> I like it. I like it. He's going for that total service area. It's respectful. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's just the other team. Is that everybody else getting a little bit of an anxiety attack? Like, wishing that it's, like, shifted? And... Yeah, I wish I was... <laughs> I know! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The more you think about it, you're like, wait a minute. Move it a little, little oh boy, bit. I really oh, hope I get some points today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? Uh, all right, let me... Let me... Oh! Uh, <laughs> Who's cheating? Can be fun. Uh... uh Uh, I went, yeah, yeah, for one, to go against the norm, right? And to create more conversation. <laughs> but also, uh, because there's still a lot of vision that's gained from that location, and I can see the gate, whereas you go on the other side, you can't see the gate. And so if I'm trying to set up a trap to catch them coming out of their base, uh, this is also a choke point, right? So it gives me a little bit of vision out on the right side of the bush, as well as the left side. Soldier. You have to circle it, I think, because you don't see the point of. Oh. Right. Mm -hmm. Like the argument is like if we're if we're blue side team, right, we're being defensive because enemy team like is pushing towards our base and then they leave again, right? I wanna see like towards where are they pathing if they're pathing into bot side jungle. Mm -hmm. The blue S, that's me. Mm, I see. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I yeah. think the the word I push is you both sides though. Like, you can't see much into that right side bush past that line that you drew, but you can also see upwards, and you can see on our side towards the base. Because of the way that the bush curves uh, on the left side, it curves downward, so you can see further out that way. Yeah.
Yeah, but I'm on, I'm on yep. two. Yep. Isn't this the same? Bush? Wait, which bush? Oh, which bush? The same bush. This is the same bush. Yeah, this is the same bush. Oh, go three. Go three. <laughs> That, that, that's an ink wart. Don't remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know this one. Okay, I know this one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that looks better. Good at eight. Should we go? Yeah, are we, uh, are we going? Okay, wait. Yeah, I, gotta, I gotta think about this one a little bit. Freeze! Why are you guys? Freeze! Come get on, out man. Of here. Freeze is ruining my mojo. <laughs> okay, okay, Lou, 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 we're teaming up because <laughs> you know mine's better, though. It's to the bottom right of that shadow. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> I know technically, it. for this area, we need two wards. Glue, we team up now. <laughs> Go to a different bush. Okay, I'm not buying the pink, though. I'm using my. Hey, does this one have to be within the bush, right? I mean, no. unless you believe otherwise. I'm gonna Ooh, just. Ooh, juicy. We defend this spot with our lives. <laughs> <laughs> I think it sounds pretty good, actually. Holy shit, we're getting reported. We have five wards in that bush. <laughs> <laughs> Six pink wards and red jumps. I'll tell you what, that support's going to have two sweeper length worth of clearing to do it. I can't believe no one wore the red buff. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Can you imagine how much tempo they lose for clearing this? <laughs> <laughs> it's the good old fashioned fanatic double pink ward. <laughs> Ooh, juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so in this blue side version of red, or even in the red side version of blue, there's this bush, and then there's the, what is it called, the fanatic bush up top. You guys know what I'm talking about? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So instead of putting a ward in two of those bushes, you can put a ward right there, and it swats 90% of the time. It's not as good as putting a ward in both of those bushes, but it saves you an additional ward so you can place it somewhere else. And with where it's positioned and how the wall is angled, you can see people walking into the fanatic bush, and you can see people walking into the lower bush, as long as they don't hug that lower wall. But league players are super lazy, so they hug the red buff bush, and then they walk across. So you can see, like, 90% of the people who walk through there. So you can save a word by placing a word right there, and you still get about as good information. To the right. Uh, oh no, that's that's glue in the freeze. This is the holy grail of this bush ward. Mm -hmm. It's directly to the bottom right of the darker shadow section. Unreal amount of vision. It's 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 insane how much vision yep. you get this ward. I mean, this just gives vision over like red buff slightly up, and then also the, the downward path. So you can generally see like most people going through. It also gives a little bit of vision to the left, not as much as the Holy Grail word, but you know, a, like a reasonable amount. It also, yeah. like, obviously, inside bush, it's pretty easy to do. Yeah. Yeah, I, I specifically clipped mine a little bit in between the corners in the center of that bush because I wanted to make sure I'm catching anyone going uh, up through red, and I also wanted to get as much to the left as I could. While just catching the main area, so I, I try to kind of split the difference as best I could without uh, losing the cutoff of that wall. Because I didn't want someone to, be able to sneak into red buff, into the, like the cavern, and, like slip through vision if they hug the wall. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I said, yeah, it, the intent was to be more general, but yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Who gets the point? Ooh. 
Fantastic. Thanks, Stu. I'm going to ace this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to ace this one. Hold on. Hold on. Stu, do you want to put yours first? And I'll just. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. Right okay, okay, good, good. I'm cooking. You guys, I did so well on this one. I got three. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, we're no, no, no. I know, we're I know enemy yeah. jungle, blue, blue side jungle, uh, like jungle starts bot side, and they have an early ward in their bot jungle. <laughs> Freeze, why aren't you on glue right now? Explain to yourself. Oh. Oh, okay. I'll just hide my strategic <laughs> man. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> Hold it back. <laughs> yep. yep. Yeah. Yeah. I think this one will still show where jungler paths though. Like after red, it should show up or down. Really. Um, that there's one scenario where this ward is actually good, and that's you're you're playing red side. You have a blitzcrank on your team, and you try to steal the the red buff over exactly. the wall. Exactly. Oh, yeah, this is the, the so cheese. Really the yeah. cheese. When you can't yeah. walk in, easy. That, that's when this ward is perfect. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what All are right. you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Side five? Never fat. Okay. Oh, this one, this one. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Does it matter with the team? Yeah. Oh, this would be interesting. Oh, wait, can we go? Hey, get out of here, Freeze. Yeah. I was here first. <laughs> hey, who's on top of me right now? Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll turn. Oh, I'm worried. I'm worried. You're, I'm worried. You're a little low. Okay, okay. I, I'm there though. I'm there though. He he can't talk. He said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm, I'm good. Nope. Nope. What's up? What? Why can't I word here? We can. Technically, you can. It'll just feel <laughs> different, right? Here. Honestly, what if what if I want to play the randomizer game and see if it pops out? Uh... Wait, you're doing easy, right? Yeah, I mean, you showed this word. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, to butt in quick, I've actually like labbed this ward quite a bit for like jungle stuff, and I'm just slide people. <laughs> so, like, wow. can you erase like this little fang? Uh, just like the part by the glue. Okay, okay. So you see this like little finger rock here that she drew out. Mm -hmm. You see how it comes to a point, like, right here at the tip of this finger? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is, like, the perfect spot for the ward. I spent, like, 20 minutes labbing out this ward for, like, catching the side areas. It's right on the tip of this finger. Like, right there. Is like, is like, rhyme. Okay. I like it. Double right. units? Yep. That's my new solo keyboard. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Run with it. Yeah. Yes. Right on the finger, lads. I can feel my elo climbing. <laughs> finger looking good. You know? Less than LP right there. Yeah. That was at least that was at least 40 LP though. True. Nope. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go, dude. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a tricky one. Depends on the stage of the game. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, it true. depends on like mm -hmm. the sides and the stage. Does that be in bush? Okay. Uh, okay, we go on three. We go on three. Oh, never mind. Everyone just like Both shot at once. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> one. Fuck. Freeze being the outlier this time. Yeah, it's okay, you Freeze. Dog. I won't abandon you. Oh, no. Blue, blue, blue understands. Blue understands. <laughs> Freeze, I justified the last one. You got us on this one. All right, all right. Um, yeah, so for this ward, right, like when it's not like super early game where you want to get the timer on the red buff, right, this ward provides you enough vision um, to see them pathing towards the red, right? Like you don't get like the mini ma map like timer on it, but you can get a rough estimate on it for the tracking if you need to, uh, need to do so, right? But you also get to see all the rotations going on like behind the dragon pit, which is crucial. Like for the entirety of like landing phase and whatever, right? Wait, can you see the all the way to the wall with that word? Uh, I think you cannot quite spot. Um, like, like I think you have to put it like here. Um, if you want to spot like everything, right? Oh, okay. But usually people don't like directly like, clump uh, like up against the wall, right? Like this usually like here covers like two things, right? Yeah. And it's usually more efficient. I like it. Nice. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Nope. Why are Glue and I so much in synergy? <laughs> well, color, it's man. nothing compared to the power of friendship. Come on now. True. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, thanks. Are you, are you... Okay. <laughs> one, two, 
Three, go. Someone gave up halfway. <laughs> <laughs> So that bush is pretty almost always revealed by minions, so you will always know if someone's going to be walking in there. And then the only way you wouldn't know is if they would walk in through the top side through the jungle, but with this ward you see that, so you can know by process of elimination if anyone is actually in this bush. And then this just gives you this pathway from both sides, because on either side of this bush you either have to give up one side of the pathway and you don't get great vision of it, but if you place them on the top side you can see both sides. Yeah, like, especially with this warding spot, right, a lot of that vision that you want to have, actually, and also what you just described, gets cut off by the rocks around it. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, you still can assume pieces of information, like, in terms of, like, what you're looking for, right, but you limit a lot of the information you're getting. Is, like, here better? Like, more, like, outside the bush, but still, like, in the middle? Uh, uh, technically, think... for, for what he described, yes, but why not in the bush entirely, right? Why not cover the bush, all of that information, and the other side of the bush, too, right? Because, as we saw earlier with, mm -hmm. like, the target dummies, right, as an example, like, the bushes block the vision if there's no what in the bush. Yeah, I think, from, I, think I kind of agree with Stu, I want to place it there initially. I just think it's, like, this is, like, an early invade where if you go, like, or not me. If you go like up here, it's like an invade order. It's like early on in the game. Like I think if you're like pushing mid game, like so pushing, it's like okay to have this bush order, but this bush is like kind of giga useless early. I think at least if you're on like red side, I don't think you need this like vision here or blue sides. I mean, it can track the jungler and it can help prevent against, help prevent against a lane gank, right? So it's taught its value. Yeah, it's just the only thing is that uh, I don't know if this works, but if you guys see like this line here, when you place your words here. Past this line, you can't see any of this, this entire box. Mm -hmm. So this line here, you can't see that, and then you can't see this box. <laughs> because of the rock that's right here and the way the vision works. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just gets cut like off. Like, why we have the watts? Um, wait, let me quickly back to pan. I, I'm just taking... Uh... Like glues, for example, right? Like that still sees here. Like that still sees very far. Yeah, but I mean, it's easy enough for a jungler to just take that path and they don't get seen. Um. So, like, because you're saying, like, if they go this path, right? So they don't. This is not a defensive ward, right? Like, I'm, I'm talking from a red red side perspective. This is a deep ward. Uh, I mean, right side perspective, it's different, but I'm talking more about like defensively. Yeah, if we wanted to ward defensive anyway, right? Like, we look here. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of times you can also, like, like if I want to offensively go for drugs, right? Like, this, these wards give me, like, the health totals, and then there's this bomb up at the top that I can use to mine. Right? Yeah. Your ward won't allow me to time. I have yeah. to do it basically blind. Like, I know he's there, but I don't know the hell. Yeah, I think that's a disconnect. Because I was placing it defensively, and you guys are placing it like. I was placing it as if we were blue side. And then you guys are placing it as if we were red side. Yes. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can count there's a Nico in those mini waves. <laughs> right. Right. Um, just uh, um, to explain one more thing, right? Like, let's assume we're blue side. Right, and we need to uh, what defensive because we feel like, hey, we could get like dove, right? Um, then you wouldn't what like anywhere here, 
right? You um like then because you're like you're like ba basically being threatened. Um, you usually walk up to that wall down here and just throw ward over here, right? Mm -hmm. Which isn't the optimal ward, but that just covers if someone's like pathing there right now, right? In the moment. Mm -hmm. like, that's why you would yep. usually throw it. Twelve. I, th I think we give two because he had a good explanation as far as reasoning and his intent was different than ours. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <sighs> yeah, I practiced this one earlier. I'm zooming. Three, two, one, go. So this is like if I'm playing like a blue side and I want to push. This is one easier to defend. So it's for ruins, so they have to walk it in more. And two, if I'm playing red side, which I think this word is probably worse than red side, it protects better against like a Hecarim gank, where he's going to start charging up like further back into the lane, so you can see a little deeper. Things like Ramus as well, where they're going to like be zooming really fast and need more time to react. Obviously, it gives less vision into river and almost no vision down, but it's mostly just for like defense purposes, especially for mid lane rooms and defense. Yeah, the yeah, biggest thing is we're trying to make sure we get absolute full vision around this choke point. So if someone's in this area, like they can't be hiding up here or anything like that. We just want to make sure no matter what we're getting at. Oh my god, this is terrible to erase. <laughs> oh, let's go, dude. Uh, I mean, I was just looking for like the deeper vision into the river, like if the jungler is going to be like walking in to look for a gank from that side, we'll be able to spot it a lot earlier. Plus, it still gets us not a lot, but a little bit of vision from the further left side of the bush. If there's like a like a mid roaming or something. So I thought it was like kind of like the best of the both worlds. Um. Uh, maybe it's like if bot is walking up to river and they uh, they don't hug the wall on the far right, it, it can be spotted through the sword, I guess. Want deeper vision into that Pacific choke? That's a below. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Me, I okay. Um, I like, I like the side wards that the other guys did. Um, it's on like the side, right? Like about like blue or red. I think this one is like middle ground like so that's why i went for it. like as long as it's not too high where it's cut off by the rock uh you could also argue that like from red side it also like arguably the easiest from red side.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And one thing I do like about this ward here in the center, though, is like it kind of forces your opponent, in the, for the most part, to try and defend it into a choke point, right? Like most people can't don't have enough range to hit it from this side. It's like you're forcing it to fight over a choke point then. So you can punish it really hard depending on your team. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I like this word cuz uh like this corner right here if you place this word on the top correctly, you can see like usually there's like a jungle who likes to sit right here just on the right around the curve cuz they think they can't get seen and you can catch a lot of junglers trying to gank that way. Mhm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, we're ready. Right. Three. Two, one, go. How different should I be? Oh. <laughs> I think you could hey, break it away with one of the rest. We'll, we'll really try and be different here. If you place it, I, I, if you should. place it at the edge, it's you right. have to yeah, place you, it you at the edge, to, right? Like right, right, it has to be right, like almost pixel, yeah. Right. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm there you go. Not about what? Not about. Explain water. to me why. <laughs> yeah, so essentially I'm trying to uh get as much vision into the into this choke point, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to get as much vision I can with with just trying to like, scrap up what I can on this side. Right? And so I'm just I'm just shifting my priorities. Instead of trying to get as much vision on the upside as I can, I'm just trying to instead uh be able to fight and like this is if we're trying to set ah, put my tongue again. I have a swollen tongue. If we're trying to set up for a fight, right? If I'm trying to defend it, maybe I can sit over a wall here and someone comes up, you can jump on them, right? So that that's my intent with this one. I'm just trying to be different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the grid right here. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No. Yeah, I do. Right. That's like I said. I wanted to intentionally put it, try and encourage the talk about it instead of just putting what everyone else is putting. But yeah, especially yeah. like, like, like there's like some if we're talking about like a single ward, right? And yes, there could be better spots, right? But usually, when you're creating vision, it's it's never just one ward, right? Mm -hmm. And if you set this up and paired with another ward, perfect. Mm -hmm. Same argument. Same argument. Yeah. Yeah, I think... I just... Go I don't quick. necessarily, like... A lot of the times that we like get this ward, I feel like it's just. I feel like finger ward is just better if we can reach it. I think I went like middle of the pack, like more to the right, because I like to see the back of the dragon. 
Uh-huh. Like the back of the dragon yeah. pit allows me to like prep for like a dragon steal, or like a lot of times the junglers will position in a pocket like near the near the bomb plant to try to like jump over for steals. And if it's up on the corner, like on the edge, right instead of the finger ward, then it doesn't get the back of the pit over here, over here, so I can't really defend against the bomb. Like I think it's ideally like here. And then something down here. Like, this bush is kind of, like, warded if you need the safe of, like, round corner. But if you don't intend to, then just get the other Are we ready? Wait, wait, which area? Yeah, which, yeah, which area? Just like the center of the river? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I'll be special. This is a specific spot. Other idea, you slide on. You're down there avoiding sweeper, aren't you? Maybe. That's me. I can justify this for a drag <laughs> fight. So ideally, we're fighting drag, right? On the side, I can get the pens on like comp heavily. This is generally like see them walk in, especially if it's like flanks and split push. This is like ideally like I'm like a kind of like a weak flank ward to some extent, where you can just get like a better idea of like setting up the fight. It's like it doesn't give the best vision, but you can see people walking in from below dragon. You can see from uh, obviously from bot lane, and you can see a little bit in the river. Like doesn't really matter. It's also if the team fight progresses, then you have a ward down here, so you don't have to like deal with warding bush as AD tries to hit, etc. Yeah. Okay, so um, I like assuming we're we're fighting for dragon, right? And we are playing for, like we're blue side team. So um, <laughs> this what covers the entrance from the blue buff area, right? I see when they're like coming in from there. Like assuming we don't have a deep board in that like brush right after the entrance, um, I cover that. And I also cover like any from bot side rotations basically at the same time, right? So just in case like they try to like pinch us, um, we can instead like decide to like stop hitting the dragon, for example, and then all five players like decide to like uh, commit to their weak side, right? Which is like maybe like one or two people walking in from bot side and collapse on them. Yes. Let's go. Yeah. I uh, so I like I like look for this like little V right here because there's like a there's a specific line where you can see fully into the choke point and then you can still see the dragon. And it's far enough where if someone doesn't like perfectly blast over, you can still see them, right? So if someone messes up the blast or just doesn't go straight for the bush, you can see it. It's like this little V right here is is really nice. I don't. It's it's just something for my own testing. It's not it's not like perfect. I'm not saying it's the perfect one, but just something like if you need help of like where to aim it, because if you're not sure, there's this big area. There's like this little nook right here where there's a V, and I look for the tip of it.
Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. And all my friends left. Freeze. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I apologize. I had a different approach, but yours is also good. <laughs> for a different you, scenario. Please? Yeah, yeah. Yours is good for a different scenario. <laughs> Um, I can see blue and gromp. If you can sneak this ward, like, let's say you're bot lane, right? And you're, like, getting cheeky, and you got this timer, right? And you're like, oh, cool, I can get this ward with all of my fake... F Instead, put it here. I can do, like, twice the work with this ward. And, like, unless he comes down the lane, up and under and over, or, like, down the lane into this... This ward sees him every day. So, like, if you can reach this ward, always take this ward over the bottom. In my opinion. For, like, early, early moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, the, the ones in that bush down here is, like, defensive ward for dragon play. Right? Yep. Yeah, so I, I'm actually really glad Glue went first because I specifically wanted to place this word to create that exact discussion that he just brought up about not being able to see Gromp with this word. I mean, obviously, I don't watch you guys' screams, but I've seen this yeah, in solo queue in a previous teams a lot where specifically people will be like, oh, I just want to ward in this general area. And they don't realize how bad it is that you're not giving vision to this Gromp area. So, yeah, that was, that was exactly just, just to build the intent, talk about like, okay, you're not in the bush, you're not really seeing over here. You can see a kind of into the choke point. And you can see blue, that's great. But you're not even fully getting through this choke point and you're not giving any vision to ground to your jungle. So yeah, I just wanted to, to put it there to, to place that conversation. Yeah, but and then... Blue like, took it from me. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> you can't really see it on this, but there's a mushroom, like right where my marker is. When yes. you go up to ward, use the mushroom. Like if you put it right next to the mushroom, it'll have like perfect vision, but you'll see it. It's a big mushroom. Bad case. All right. Yeah. Uh, like this one, because if you place it inside the bush, it makes this choke a little difficult to see. But if you place the word outside the bush a little bit more towards the rock, you can see into the choke. You can see into the blast. And then you can see if the jungler is pathing from blue. So this is more of like a, a bot lane defensive ward to see if anyone's going to be coming from this way. I mean, if you're lucky, you can see like the mid laner coming from mid, but that's not likely to happen. Yeah, I was trying to... The angle was a little weird. I didn't want to place it too close to the rocks. I didn't get like cut off, but that was like the idea. Yeah, I just didn't want to put it in the wrong spot because of the angle. Everyone remember magic mushrooms. Right up here, my glue. <laughs> there it is. See it? It's a honker. Look at the size of it. Can't miss it. <laughs> Look at it. The first thing he's looking for. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, what? Who did that? Childish. So when the dongers are out. Ow. Oh. That's what I would have chosen. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Hey, Freeze, I like your bro. style, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> spot, man. I'm just lagging. I know, it's like everyone for me was gone. I all said at once they all shot over, and I was like, hey. <laughs> it's just ping difference. <laughs> all right, all right. Preferably. If I'm blue side and I'm already winning, this is a control ward, and I bait them, and I sit in this bush. Oh, juicy. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, I think it's like just a like just a general board, right? Like it just covers so many. Nope, pretty obvious one. <laughs> okay, three, <laughs> two, one, go. Oh, freeze! I know what you did there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, okay, Glue gets to explain mine. Okay. This this ward that freeze did is so dastardly. Because he puts it right in the bomb plant. So when you sweep, you like try to hit the ward, but you're clicking on the bomb plant. It's a whole <laughs> crisis for us no hand junglers. You have no idea what we go through when this happens. <laughs> it's the same thing. There's also like the the freaking the like juicy fruits in the river, dude. I'm accidentally hitting the juicy fruit every time trying to get to that ward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, this can be a really good spot that not a lot of mid laners use for a like if you get it right on the tip, a lot of junglers don't path like ever. So like if you get this, you automatically see him cross through this from his top to his bot side every time he crosses. He'll almost never go in the. Yeah, it's never on your path. Yeah, like you have to go out of your way to see it. So like if support covers your bottom pixel with pink like you can just play to your bot side of the lane safer and throw your pink in this bush on this corner it might be there for 15 minutes but we know every single time cross between top and bots could i ask a quick question about a word because i saw i don't understand this deeply but I saw Guma do this a couple times where he places like a word here, like relatively consistently when like ahead on blue sides. Either just like get a pick, or maybe cover this like flank and go up here. Is there like a better reason for this? Because this is like looks like a shit word, right? Just on wolves. No, it's, it's, not, it's not a shit word, right? You only yeah. care about the vision on wolves um, mm -hmm. when like someone is like clearing wolves, right? And when you're ahead, you can actually um, like then like inside that person, right? Because it's a okay. really awkward spot to get out of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was thinking. To bounce over. Mm -hmm. Top. Okay, got you. Thank you. I wasn't sure like entirely through. It also helps with tracking team movements in the mid to late game. Because if you, assuming you're ahead and the enemy doesn't have much control of their jungle, they're going to pass past the wolves in order to move anywhere on the blue side. Yeah, whenever they don't have much control over their jungle, the only camps they usually still get access to, if even, right, um, mm -hmm. are wolves or raptors. And wolves are the most accessible out of all of them. Okay, cool. Awesome. Good news, I gotta pee like a racehorse. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> oh, yep, sorry. Uh, three, two, one, go. Daughter. So, 
this is like a mid lane Pacific word, I think, but this is something I saw Jensen do basically every game. I don't know if he still does this, but the couple of years ago, and I just adapted it, and I still have people do occasionally. This is much better than like this kind of word if you're looking for like getting ganked, but like better, like getting jungler like Jarvan, and you cover the, the entrance down here. You cover some of River. Obviously, you get cut off by bush, so you can't see past here super well. But you just see like basic jungle location through River. It also kind of prevents invades. Obviously, not versus like a grave, something that goes over dragon pit wall. But it's basically just an upgraded version of a word over here. At least that's how I view it. I yeah, um, why, why Jensen and like some other people um, like do that uh, is usually like in the early game, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because that also gives you intel on scuttle clear. True. Yeah, I didn't consider that. That's a good part of it, too. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. mainly early game. Mm -hmm. Right, I think that's because you want to cover like one a little bit up here, so you can see why. If you place a lot of time, people do picks like here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it might also be a timing thing too, because generally you're hitting this on like wave. Yeah, two, three. Like the, the thing is right. Um, so what I just explained, right? Like with the early game ward, when you want to like see when the enemy jungler is like doing the scuttle crap, that's usually when your jungler is like on the other side of the map, right? Mm -hmm. So down that side. Is usually more dangerous, right? And when you, when you don't know exactly where he is, he could like be in that bush already or whatever, right? More dangerous. Um, and this water is safer. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's that's me. That's me. Uh, I mean, I thought it was just like get the majority of the vision like from people walking through river like it doesn't really get as much vision from the other side that like freezes would but i think it would get me like some more view like into the river and like people walking in and out of it especially from like that mid bush uh yeah that's that's basically it So that one is mostly for like mid to late game. Although it can be like an early game ward for mid laners, but uh, it's mostly just to spot people rotating along this line because this is usually a pretty hard line to grab control of if you have or if the enemy still has the mid tier one up, so they'll use it to rotate a lot, and as well it helps spot junglers. As well as um, it's less common of a spot to ward, so it can kind of sneak past oracles a lot of the time. But it's mainly just there to see rotations and to see people who are coming into the river. There's a record ward. This is a red side ward, technically, right? Um, so what you do is like when you have like a prior mid or whatever, right? When you're pushing up a little bit, um, what a lot of jungles will attempt to do is go like on either of the sides, right? Like go behind there and cut you off while you're pushing up. So when your jungle is like top side, you want to ward there. Right. Yeah, it's strictly a red side one. Yeah. Yeah. I still think a word there is very difficult because we don't have vision of like this area where the word would be, then it could easily just be like some AD with long range hitting it and we're not able to get on top of them because their team is sitting next to them. I feel like it's the same issue. Yeah. 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 And I just think even if the ward is like moved into the top side bush, it's still the same issue. They don't have to walk into the choke to clear it. They just need someone with a decent weight long range.
Yeah, but it's like the same thing if we're and if we're like sitting in this bush or this bush, the no matter where they're from, it's they still have to stand in the same area. No, because like max they're gonna be like over here. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about, I think it's him. Oh, our next slide. Oh, next slide. Oh, I can't tell because of the people, but yeah. Nice. Crushed it. Yep. Okay. Ooh, there's so many. Oh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready for this. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, go. Wait, is it that far? So that's the red side word, right? To cover rotations from mids after you clear wave. Generally, try to be safer, get more in choke. Yep. Right, right. Yeah, I, I can do that. Um, so same idea, right? Catching rotations. Um, usually, like when people rotate, they shove wave into tower, then rotate, right? So they won't like circle back a lot, right? You cover like the edges, that's fine. You see like all the entrances towards river. That covers a lot. Yeah. Okay. Three. Two, one, go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I was trying to dodge sweep. Can anyone explain mine? Yeah. Yeah, same thing. Just trying to avoid the pink in the bush and then trying to get vision of the choke point. Mm. Covers way too much area. It's huge, huge area yeah. coverage. What does it specifically cover that none of the others do? The entire bear pit. Uh, if anyone goes over that wall from behind, blast cone, dash, whatever, right? I can see that. Even if they sweep, it doesn't matter. I get the information. Hmm. No one gets to sneak Herald or anything. Oh, yeah. Just, that is uh, so big level. in games. That is so big. Yeah, because if it's here, I can. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Okay. Sense. Um I was mostly thinking of um from the perspective of blue side, I would like place the sworn maybe because um for early game not really uh Baron control because if they have like a Graves or an Italy, they could um if they hop over from the Baron pit wall to invade, um, then you could spot them that way. But also, if they take the greedy way through uh, mid and they walk through the brush, then you could spot them as well if they don't walk all the way through the brush. So that was mostly my thinking for that. Not really about Baron late game. Uh, yes. Yeah. I I yeah. think this one is or the one Sora and I have is like fine. You can see the herald like physically, although you may not see a jungler if you like pose it into the back of the pit. But you can also see the entrance going towards top side, so it covers both. You mean central? Do these two do these two cover the entire area, or is there a slight gap? I. Uh, yeah, maybe on the left wall if they hug it, but... Well, if they blast Cone over, do they dodge it? I think that could be big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who got the four points? Interesting. I'm pogging. Hey, really? I knew it was up there too. I went too far back thinking sweeper hits it. I swear everyone checks that one now. A little too far back. Yeah. How do you grab a 
Oh, okay. Oh, they're in. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. This like at this point in time. Why do we even what here? For what? In one thirty. Okay, okay, that's what we're talking about. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yep. 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 That's good. It was actually an amazing activity. <laughs> Very yeah. interactive. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sound good? It is. Peace. Yep. Peace. Bye. Peace.
Ja, was dann?